the only way this ends is if we send a message. Profits are not as important as people. A famous quote from Benjamin Franklin, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. They can still be a great company and they can still provide great services safely. Out of Hancock County, police tell us that a man was hit and killed by a semi near the Amazon Distribution Center. That's on County Road 300 North, just west of Greenfield. Now, police say 66-year-old Harvell Singh Dillon of Indianapolis was driving a semi and stopped his truck in the middle turn lane around 6.45 a.m. He was hit by another semi as he walked across the westbound lane. The driver of the other semi is cooperating with police. How many years did your dad drive a truck? He has been driving a truck, uh, he drove a truck for about 17, 18 years. Never been in an accident whatsoever. He was a great driver. He gave me a lot of points to drive safely. He taught me how to drive a truck, taught me how to be a safe driver. He always told me when it get dark, just park your truck, go to sleep, don't drive at night. It's not safe. Amazon is strict on appointments. That day, my father's appointment was at 7 a.m. If he would have missed that appointment at 7, right, they was going to tell him, you're late, make a U-turn and get out. Reschedule this appointment, come back. That's how most distribution centers are. Where my dad stopped, that's where the GPS pinpointed him. So from there on, I mean, you are in a big vehicle. You can't just go wherever you want. Because if you pass, this country after that. Where will you make a U-turn? So the best thing you're gonna do is try to get out of your vehicle, walk the area, scope it. I believe that was his initial instinct. I would have done the same thing. This is the road that Harvale drove down, that thousands of other contractors drove down uh, as they approached this Amazon Fulfillment Center. A lot of the time, they're coming for the first time. For Harvale, it was 6.30 a.m., uh, pitch black. This is an entrance for every other vehicle, uh, but not trucks. Here's the Amazon Fulfillment Center to the left, and you can see the entire width of the building before we approach this second entrance. Uh, again, this is an entrance for every other vehicle, but not for trucks. All Harvale has to go off of is this tiny little no truck sign, but it doesn't make sense to him because he has now driven the entire length of this Amazon Fulfillment Center. If he goes any further, he's going to pass the Fulfillment Center. This building that you, you may see uh, that's further east is not affiliated with Amazon. It's Progressive Logistics Inc., completely different entity. He can't do a U-turn. You can't turn in here. All you have to go off of is an address. Amazon does not warn you that you need to continue past the first two entrances before you enter a third entrance. And they were on notice. The same thing happened six weeks earlier. Same location. The same exact spot. Sitting here and reliving it in my head, I'm very angry. Especially when hearing that someone else was severely injured weeks before and this could have been prevented completely, and it wasn't, it's just absolutely heartbreaking. On September 2nd, a man by the name of Mahari Akbu, also a truck driver, approached this fulfillment center at 6 a.m. Amazon put Mahari in this position to where he stopped his truck and turns on his hazard lights because he doesn't know what to do. If he goes any further, he's gonna pass the fulfillment center altogether. So he gets out of his truck to try to decipher where to go. And within seconds, he is struck by a Ford F-150. Was your vision bothered by anything as you were coming west? Like I said, I glanced that truck because you see him all the time. Stopped here and guys getting out. I mean, we see it every day, but... 
For the past seven months now, Mahari has been unable to work. He struggles to get out of bed every morning. His wife still has to bathe him. From September 2nd to October 20th, in a 48 day period, Amazon did nothing to make their premises safer for these truck drivers. After Harvale died, Amazon added this $100 sign. Even if that was there, that would have saved his life, I think. Like, my dad wasn't just there randomly. You know, he went to go drop off a load for this corporation, so it's their responsibility to make it safe and sound. And this Amazon employee told the police that the same thing happened six weeks earlier. Parked over here. I had started to walk down the sidewalk in, um, saw the semi truck, and just the train of thought. I was like, "Well, we got another lost yeah, semi truck. Yeah. Doesn't know where to turn." And I was starting to process. Is it? I'm like, "Oh my God, it's yeah. happened again. It's happened again." If you can do the right thing, just do the right thing. It's not that difficult to do. But when you put profits in front of people, these are the consequences that end up happening, unfortunately. My dad, Harville Dillon, he was a great person. He didn't care about no materialistic things. He didn't care about no money. He only cared about serving. He was kind, selfless, family-oriented, community-oriented, very religious. He was just literally the most chill person you could possibly meet. He had no bad towards anyone. Always friendly, always smiling, never ever in stress. Just, just a happy person to be around. He would go out of his way at any given moment to go help uh, somebody in need. I can't even explain how awesome he was. Losing him, it, it, it was difficult for not just family, but for the entire community because how involved he really was with the community and how integrated he was with the community for how long he lived in Indianapolis. It happens twice. That's just not right. If there was something that happened, we need to take some corrective actions to fix the problem. Obviously, there weren't any actions taken. Yeah, Amazon is a big corporation. They don't care. My father was nothing to them, but something needs to be done. I took a step. Let's see who's behind me.